too, buddy. So, just like, what, what's the definition of a hypocrite? Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't, I'm just, this is off the top of the head. Somebody who says one thing and does another, or calls people out on something and then does that same fucking thing. Like, so, I see a fucking joy talking all this essential shit about me on her stream. She fucking wants me to jump on her stream. Again, this is like the problem of people being selfish. They don't know how to put themselves in other people's situations. Like, the library is about to close. I can't just fucking stream in the middle of the library, especially with the type of content that we be talking about. So, like, she wants me to jump on, but I can't fucking do it right then and there. So I fucking make a video about it, and then I go and send her, I come up with this idea. I'm like, oh, well, you know what? I could probably Facebook Live. Because for whatever reason, I can Facebook Messenger with Josh, so I figured I could probably do a Facebook Live with Joy if she wanted to, since she wanted fucking me to talk on her stream. Um, so I sent her a fucking Facebook message telling her that, and I also told her, I was like, you know, your reaction was a surprise to me, you know, thanks for fucking, and it was invigorating. Like, to be surprised is to be invigorating to me, you know, it's like, wow, that was, that was a fucking surprise. You know, so I send those things to her, and her response was, suck a dick and die. And then she blocks me on Facebook. So it's just like... Yeah, I mean, it's just like, a, it's just lame-ass fucking social media bullshit, bro. You don't talk to people like that in real life. You don't just fucking... This is why she fucked up like she needs fucking help she needs to stop fucking living the way that she's been living it's not healthy for her it's not healthy for other people the most type of shit she does like that it goes back on her i didn't say anything mean to her i was being honest with her i was seeing that surprise surprise me and then to get deeper i'll be honest with you guys i think she's mad because i don't exactly fucking know why she could be jealous at fucking bloated kiki but why bring me up into all this shit like why? There's absolutely no reason, unless she's trying to fucking, you know, make bloated Kiki fucking jealous, but the way she did it wasn't even that, that's not how you would do it. If she was really trying to do that, which I don't think is really her style, she would say some fucking flattering shit about me, not fucking condescending shit about me, which is what she did. So, it's like, I think she's mad because she wanted me to go to the fucking beach, because she's probably got some type of secretive fucking plans. Um, and then I make a video saying that I think I might stay here because fucking I don't have resources and you know I saw Dustin and we had a good conversation and shit and you know part of me feels like I'd just be running from my problems if I were to fucking just go to the beach again you know just that's what I've kind of been doing it's just moving you know instead of just sticking put and trying to get a little bit of stability for a little bit so I fucking make that video and then a couple hours later or however long it's fucking been she's on the stream just angry and mad as fuck. And it's like she was just done, she just been talking to Bloated Kiki fucking for weeks now. You know, and then as soon as she fucking ends that shit, she just jumps to the next fucking. I'm, I don't know exactly if that's what she's doing, but it seems like she's just jumping from one dick to the next dick. And then when that dick don't get what she wants, she just jumps to the next dick, jumps to the next dick, jumps to the next dick. Instead of trying to work with that dick. Like, y'all fucking are crazy. She's tripping. Like, she thinks her fucking pussy has this fucking goddess power. And things are just going to manifest the way that she wants them to. And if they don't, then fuck everything else. It's extremely selfish. Like, instead of trying to fucking talk to a motherfucker, instead of trying to work things out with a motherfucker, she likes to do things in fucking code and in spirit. And leaves a lot to be fucking be question marked and not consider what, I, what else is going on. Not try to fucking reach out and build a real communication with anybody i'm not saying with me i'm just saying in general with other people i have no idea the extents of their relationship and what they talked about or even if you want to call it a relationship but if they were really true about fucking trying to be with each other then just talk to one another you know instead of all this fucking video making this video making that you don't know how long the person watches the video you don't know what they hear what they don't hear 
you know, the same is true on my fucking end. So again, it's more of this inefficient fucking social media cowardice is what it really is. And then for her to fucking go and just talk all this shit about me, and I send her one thing back on Facebook after she done already asked me to fucking jump in her stream, and then she tells me to suck a dick and die and then blocks me. So she gets the last word and she wants me to feel fucking miserable and shitty about myself. And oh my goodness, I got blocked by joy and oh, I'm gonna cry in a fucking corner. That Brian ain't here anymore, okay? This is a different Brian. I don't do that shit anymore. I'm fucking growing up, all right? Yeah, that used to be me. And part of me was kind of hurt when she said it like that, you know? But I also threw a little bit of fire her way. But again, she thrown some fire at me. So it's like, you know, you can you, you dish, you take what you dish out, you take your own medicine. You take a punch as well as throw a punch. Because right now I'm looking like she can't fucking take a punch. And when I say that, I'm not talking about actually hitting her. I'm just saying figuratively, you know, not literally. I'm talking about just symbolically. Can you fucking take shit and give shit back? Or do you just give shit back? You know, and it's like she doesn't realize the type of fucking effect, you know, on other people it has when she talks all this talk to others. And then the next fucking day, she just, boom, jumps ships and wants to fucking jump on the next ship that's right next to her. She's very insensitive. And on top of that, she ain't even willing to fucking talk to motherfuckers. So then, like, what the hell is the real issue here? It's not love. It's not even being kind. It's not being good, you know. And I could have fucking handled the situation a little bit more loving, you know. I guess I could have left out the invigorating part because she surprised me. But at the same time, that's how I really felt. Like, if we're all being fucking real here, if we're all being adults, if we're all having grown-up talk, why not just be real with how the fuck you are and how you really feel about shit? Why fucking hold it back? That's what she's always been about. So here I am fucking just letting it out, and she tells me to suck a dick and die. So it's like, all right, you know, that's the way you feel, but, you know, that's up to you. But I know that there has to be some type of serious emotion going on inside of her to even say the things that she fucking did and react the way that she reacted. So now she just actually damned herself up by blocking me. It's funny how when you do that to people, you actually end up fucking yourself. Every time I block somebody, and it hasn't been very many, I always feel bad about it. I always feel like I was the asshole. Unless somebody's being fucking horribly fucking mean and fucking out of place and just overstepping boundaries um, all over the place, then there's no good reason to block somebody. That just says that you don't want to fucking engage in the conversation because you're afraid of something or you ain't up to fucking talking or you don't want to fucking hear what they have to say or you're pissed off and you don't want to deal with it. But yet you love to dish shit out of people. I mean, it's crazy. You're talking about his wife. You're talking about all these other families. You're talking about your family. You talk shit about everything. But yet you can't take it when somebody says just a little thing to you. Some crazy shit, girl. Like... And here I am just trying to, I was just made a video yesterday trying to help you and Christopher come together. Because I do just want you to be happy. I do want him to be happy. I want everybody to fucking be happy. And if it means me stepping out of the situation and trying to mend things together for others, so be it. You know, I'm not a very picky dude. I'm very flexible, you know. And a lot of the times I see joy like as, as a, I don't even know anymore. So much shit has been convoluted and backwards, you know, and twisted up and turned around and you know, feelings come this way and then things get said better that way and then she fucking lies about this, she lies about that and it's hard to fucking know. I don't even know if she fucking knows. So, alright. Anyways, we'll see what the fuck else happens, man. Life goes on. Love you guys. Take care.